If you're like me and you're having a little bit of a harder time motivating yourself to practice for your upcoming math finals because of the whole coronavirus situation and uh, being able to take classes pass fail, hopefully I can help by rambling on a little bit about what I think is the best way to practice for uh, Purdue math finals. More than anything, Purdue math rewards you for your ability to recognize when a question is trying to trick you rather than any uh, actual knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes in the math. As a result, by far the most effective way to practice is not reading Wikipedia articles to understand what Stokes' theorem really is, but instead to go through past exams as often and as many at a time as possible. That's why the only thing that I would recommend you to do if you're having trouble motivating yourself to practice is just every single day go through one practice exam. If you're doing it right, you should be learning less about how to get Purdue math questions right and more about how to not get them wrong. With this style of exam preparation, in my opinion, it's much less important what situation you're in or how much you're really paying attention while you take uh, your, your daily practice exam, whether that's sitting in your bed half paying attention to YouTube and doing a question every 10 minutes, or whether you've snuck back into Elliott Hall during the quarantine to get that high quality test simulation experience. Either way, the most important thing is that by the end of each day, you've internalized another set of questions that you've gotten right in the past and questions that you've gotten wrong. And hopefully the next time that you see that question or a question like it, you'll be able to remember not only the correct formula to use, but also uh, the common ways that these types of questions tend to try to lead you uh, astray. The data point that drove me to record this video is the fact that the vast, vast majority of people who use my videos in their studying do that within about 48 hours of their actual exam. You need to give your brain time to internalize the mistakes that you've made in the past so it can apply them, uh, you know, pulling them from long-term memory. In my experience, at least, it's much more difficult to remember a mistake that I made less than an hour ago than to remember one that I've been making for the past two weeks every single day. Just like the Boilermaker Express here, it doesn't matter how many times you get questions wrong in the beginning or how often you accidentally bump into something uh, IU-related, but that when it comes time to take your real exam, that you have set yourself up as best as possible to show off your new ability to not make the mistake that they want you to make 20 times in a row.